So it is portfolio time. It's been a, it's been like, like a while. And personally, I think exploring portfolios, looking at them, and also just kind of putting yourself in the mind of the artist itself is a great way to kind of keep yourself inspired, either keep yourself maybe like a little sad. You know what I mean? Sometimes it happens. Like, you know, inspiring work is inspiring. You shouldn't be jealous, so you should be motivated, just saying. But overall, I think it's a great practice, and I wanna look at some today, and I think it's gonna be real cool and fun. I picked out some really cool ones for the guys to, to look at, and maybe like I'll, I'll decipher just a tiny bit, maybe give you guys some tips and all that good stuff, and that's the, that's the, that's the vibe. Sit back, start designing, and uh, watch this video, please. Also, you know, you know what you gotta do. Do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. If you guys do not know what it is, all 28 of my custom made products that you get on that one purchase, plus all future products free. All right, so the first portfolio I have is this Air Chat, seamless communication through voice interactions and cater, okay, basically like a voice message app. It's by Queso and Benji. So if we kind of scroll through, we can see the first look, the nice little animation at the top, I appreciate. Also orange is my favorite color, so like W on that part. And the smile kind of like air chat bubble works for me, I'm cool with that. Now let's scroll down, we get this immediate hit of like this bold, yet like almost in a way like talkative, type i don't know i thought i don't the word talkative kind of my head just because of the app thing i've redecided or i've decided to rebrand air chat because its old logo was too complex and unprofessional making it too making it hard to compete so the rebrand is aimed to give air chat a distant or a distinct and memorable look uh similar to top apps like instagram and snapchat what does the other one look like i wish you put the old one in here hold on let me find it yours is actually like really strong wow Wow. I get why you say old and too complex. I would just say you simplified it into the world of maybe keeping it more simplistic in its way, which I which I can agree. The, the, the emoji kind of realm might be a little bit awkward. However, if their brand like expiration and expansion was like using a lot of emojis in their like brand identity, it might make a lot more sense to stick with that. But I didn't see anything that kind of used a bunch of emojis. So as you scroll down, we get this really nice color palette, which I can appreciate. Nice little bright purple, because I like bright purple. All this good stuff. So realistically, all I'm looking at here is the like the consistency between like the brand typography the photography the placement of the text sort of way you kind of speak and it honestly with the more and more and more i look the more i can feel like it's it's there honestly i'm seeing also like a lot of the heading font kind of being in the bottom left corners in some ways or the top right corners not really centered in a lot of times which i would say like again a nice little simplistic thing that when done in repetition feels like an identity which is really 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 cool now the little circle things i'm not really sure what that's supposed to entail but i would argue there there's deserves to be a little more playful with all these smiles and such i'm just curious if there was a little way to kind of like push it just a tiny bit further however really really dope product really strong i love the idea of like the expression between the iconographies and this too it's the simplicities right a strong color scheme very strong branded like hierarchy for your typography for look at me going through all the words your hierarchy for your heading font and then your subtext font which looks it looks really good like your paragraph font right and even keeping the simplicity of keeping things in the top left corners of some sort. I see it, I like the vision, and honestly, a fairly good redesign. Okay, so Ivern, you are up next with this PCU Arsenal's Bin Tur Ungen. Bin -tur so more or less, it looks like to be like some sort of event theme through the idea of Greek theme. Uh, we aim to create an engaging atmosphere towards the esports and cosplay fans to create powerful energy for the entire event but i really appreciate the cinematography like the, the cinematography shot or placements and even like the sort of director-esque like you know lower third or top left quadrant kind of typography to kind of make it feel more cinematic even through the 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 art direction itself which is really cool this like kind of marbly meets like i guess the ancient greek is a good way to put it with this offset white goldish tone so honestly when we go through it i really appreciate the direction that you got to get more of i guess the in full color direction where we still feature this marvelous tone the color correction did wonders i'm curious did you ever show i wish you showed a frame of the the before and after color correction or like the color tweaking or the color grading so to me to make this more engaging i would love to see that breakdown i could have used the before and after like a slider you know what i mean like i i don't know you feel me overall the direction is really really dope it made me feel really engaged in that kind of sense but i also wish you kind of tapped into what you meant and like double clicked into the word engaging atmosphere like engage towards what would be my question right if i'm like your art director i'd be like what are we engaging towards what is the audience supposed to feel engaging is a very buzzy word like what 
was the like the thing you know like for me i would say the art direction like descriptive words for this could have been like something like like raw distressed anxious almost i get a bit of angst towards it you kind of get tense and that's where i kind of feel all these like really cool like color corrections and all these cool screen or all these cool like uh cinema photo shots right you get this real intenseness especially with this person holding a sword glowy eyes so i would love to feel what i was supposed to feel you nailed a vision but I'm just curious on what nail like vision you nailed because you hit it for me because it's just a cool overall art piece. I'm curious what the vision was, but I liked it. I did like it. So it looks like we're moving into the stream packages by Cass Peters. We have this animated stream pack with this cool little starting soon screen. Let's go over the look, right? We kind of have the gun itself kind of moving, tweaking. We got the name of the actual, of course, person, the creator itself. And honestly, this is a really good use of taking one asset and just like reusing it, right? Like with these different frames, they didn't really change the asset. They just kind of gave you different angles, different close-ups, and it kind of made it even more just sort of uh, engaging. It just got more out of it, which I, I appreciate, right? The, that's the, the, also the transition is really cool too. I can't lie. So this is pretty dope. Oh, look at the slider was what I'm talking about. Look at that. You can see everything. We got an ending and a mission screen. Again, very simple use of use, uh, using your, your transition that you already made before. However, I would say to change it up just a tiny bit, of course, the words are changed you can just change the direction of the the rocks they're going like from here to here like just do from here to here you know what i mean just change it up a little bit maybe zoom into that background sniper itself a little bit more to change it as well because those are the very very subtleties but like when i see this i didn't see that there was a thought of let's make sure it looks and feels different just a tiny bit like even if it's just a tiny bit so yeah that's my little nitpick for this overall really dope color scheme really cool like vibe and atmosphere and you did a really good job filling that space but just make sure you understand the idea of variety so to kind of fix it up a little bit change some angles around the same exact asset you'll be set you'll be good to go so let's look at some esports illustrative posters by yusuf abed now if i go down the immediate thing i'm going to say is if you're an illustrator please let me know in the comments section. are you like just say me if you're the illustrator okay the second thing is if you said me i kind of hate you i don't know why but i wish i can draw i can't draw especially people i could draw cars pretty well but like this is cool okay like this is really really cool perspective pretty dope like the glow the the sketchy sort of cartoonish ish like a little bit raw rendered feels very different oh whoa you know you, you can appreciate an illustration but then when you, when you remember that it actually has to start from zero that's a little insane you can see it in use which is also really dope we have these it's just a, a a similar sort of like stance here but i appreciate the the sort of depth between like this right here the foot's nice and close out we got this like fish eyed lens look which just really makes it a lot more just original and cool this is cool okay it's cool because it's unique the the colors of the white background with the clash of all these cool colors and everyone has their own indi uh, individual color even skin it looks like in the background and it's sort of like attribute to this cloudiness that's going on here this is really really dope oh my god the colors oh my the red and yellow is disgustingly good like no it's the blue the red is like so high like density and like color and makes you want to look at it but then like what if you look at it for too long you might hurt your eyes but then the blue kind of like perfectly cancels that out if you're asking yourself are illustrators do illustrators have space in like a sports scene in general i would say absolutely for certain campaigns and things like that basically you ask for one let's say like really cool big key art poster and then you take that really big key art poster. Let's say if this right here had like five other people with other chairs and like a, this big key art poster, you can kind of just zoom in to certain areas and then just kind of like use those as other activations or key art posters for other things. Just saying, like if you're an art director or something out there, if you wanted like a little tip, that's what I would do. But also illustrators, sorry, I love y'all. Y'all are cool, this is sick. Okay, so let's move on to some organization slash broadcast assets by Ilya. We have this Counter-Strike Esports graphic metal league. Wait, this line is actually crazy. Despite my dedication and hard work, I regret to inform you that I have encountered an unfortunate situation. I've been subject to a scam, which left me in a difficult position. What? Did you get scammed by these people? I wish there was like a little bit of context but let's go ahead and look at the oh the overlays i'm a big fan I'm, i've been a very big fan a little bit lately of using like these rounded corners this like ui kind of element soft box kind of feel it works and this looks really cool i can't even lie to you yeah we kind of scroll down we see the the sort of same repeat on that but of course at least we gotta get a little bit differentiation with you kind of moving the assets around which i can also appreciate a little bit of 3d work with some viewport renders there's nothing like I know what I'm doing. Then some viewport renders someone who's never ever seen this, and someone's gonna go, "Wow, this guy, this guy gets it. He 
gets it. This is pretty cool. We got a little render post effect. So we get all the sourcing you playing with that over here. We kind of see some of the work of, uh, oh, I see what you did. Very actually, it's actually minimal like effects in Photoshop. You did a lot of the work in Blender, which is kind of crazy to be honest. Overall, pretty, very, very solid, honestly. So yeah, Ilya, I don't know what you got scammed for, but really dope portfolio piece. I can't lie. Okay, so next up, I honestly stopped when I started scrolling down a little bit more because I was like, oh, that looks cool. So I, I didn't really see everything yet, but we have this dig assed dig assed sure right by multiple owners we got kevin or kelvin excuse me hitalo night design and lucas let's see what you guys cooked up so we have this 2025 to 2026 oh my excuse me in the future so this product was inspired by the works of blade runner and akira that's that makes sense for the oh, the red look at some of these frames man look at blender honestly i've been loving blender lately if you're not into it and you wanted to learn it trust me you should learn it for fun is that blender it's why is it red oh it's blender you can change the layout color. Okay, so honestly, the typography is super, super cool. It reminds me of a font like Sinister, which has that kind of like bold juxtaposition between like the, a nice sans serif and bold heading typeface. So I can appreciate that. Ooh, some animation. You can't, you can't hate it. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. That's very inspired by Akira, but like I love I love that. So the simple in the sense of how you broke it down. I really appreciate the background. You have like this, basically a black background. Yeah, then you have your text and then in front of it, you have this similar black background color, but like it's a silhouette uh, cutout of basically, of course, this person, some standing little areas over here, right? That's super, or standing like elements and people over here. That's really cool. It's simple in composition, but the way you kind of nail it with this color scheme, the, the, the everything else, really cool, man. Dang, okay. This is cracked for a stream package. Honestly, I'm also curious. Do you guys think like uh, designers and or streamers or just creators, if you end up on this video just for like inspo or something like that, how many of you guys actually think these level branded like stream packages do much? I, I love the look, it doesn't take away from anything. I'm just curious if like we're moving away from like stream package designs or like do people care about it? I feel like I see a lot more just regular cameras and nothing else and like no like stream intermission screen, no offline starting soon screen. I'm curious, is there anyone else realize that? I don't know, I think, so. I don't know. Is there a way to bring it back towards people who enjoyed maybe them in the past, but don't really care for it now? Is there a reason why there was that thing? Is it because of the visuals? It was like too hard to look at the gameplay with all these flashing things. Then then asks the question of who's gonna be the person who changes that? Huh? I don't know, not me. <laughs> anyway, dope, honestly, dig, cast, die, digest. Is it digest? Honestly, really dope identity boys. This is insane work to be, and for a stream package, a little too cracked for me. So you you done you done right. So this next one brings me to Omar Eshal, and now the project abstract. The main goal of this project was to create a visual identity for myself that embody oh for yourself and embody these uh, embracing imperfection. See, I love the simplicity and the idea. So I know if I see something that doesn't feel like I can, you know, embraces your imperfection, I got something to measure off of. Like, is it good or is it bad? Rather than just kind of take it for face value. So I appreciate that. This identity needs to convey the idea that nothing is perfect, but still displays my ability to deliver high quality creative work. Combined with my fascination with odd tech and the imperfection that such tech has. I developed my individual style that conveys both messages. Okay, first things first, the setting, a little scary. Oh my, I just realized there's like a, 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 like a reflection on the bottom. Why do I care about that so much? So it's like this retro, like CRT, very old school, like tech in itself that we're showcasing, which is really cool. I wanna show my use, and you can access through the entire product. I did this, but wait, this is not 3D? Collecting photograph and pictures of old TV. I also use a CRTV with the circuit bender to visually alter videos and, wait. So all these are like actual photos of your assets and, and like recordings of it? Is that what's happening here? Okay, 3D, <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks. I know you're probably like, dude, just go scroll down. That's so cool. I don't know. It's it's just so simple. It's it's also very fascinating to me. The only thing I got out of this is that you might actually be a psychopath because why? Okay. You can design for yourself that and like really well, like you really thought it through. I could never, I could never think about, I need to, for myself, I'm going to go and take some pictures of like, you know, a tape recorder and like, yeah, no. I ain't doing all that. But man, this is cool. And what are you gonna do with it now? I'm curious. Is it like a like a clothing brand launch you're about to do? Cause it's, I feel it. I can feel like a, a street weary, you know, vibe to it. Yeah, man. Honestly, super, super, super dope. I can't even front. I'm honestly curious what else you got. Oh, we got typography. Yeah, this you, I feel like we're running. You're gonna you, you got merch, don't you? You, you there's no way you don't. You don't. You will. You will. 
So a little quick little detour. We have this Andrew this college football 25 game poster. Now, I don't know why. I wanted to include this. It's really just this poster. But look how like actually dope like the color correction is on this. I'm so curious how you got this color correction. And I, I'm kind of jealous that I don't think I'll ever find out. It's like a it's like it has a little bit of noise. It's like this. It's just cool, man. Like actually dope. Look at the colors on that. I just had to, I just had to see, look at this little, this, look at this setup. What else do you have? Honestly, yes, I can see the, <laughs> I can see where you get the, oh, the compositions are also really dope too. These down here, I also appreciate, but I also think you had a lot more success in the, the ones above personally, if I had to say, and if, if that's what I have to say, I would say maybe just get rid of these two, just for the, you know, sake of, you know, keeping it like your best, best work. Honestly, yeah, dude, that just, it's, this is just super cool on it. I, can you, can you give me the, can I get the pants thing? Or nah. So anyway, the perfect segue into the last portfolio I wanted to kind of get a look at was this NBA post designs by Joseph Reigns. But the cool thing I wanted to kind of point out is just like how much work goes into the skin work in some of these. Like, I don't know if I need you to showcase like a breakdown. You know what I mean? Like the posters are so dope, but like I come to Behance personally to see like a little bit more info. Like I, I love the stock portfolios because they have explanations and I get to like, utilize that i don't know why but I, I would just love to see like a breakdown i know what the point of the project is i'm just saying because like how you feel me like i don't know how but genuinely the color schemes you kind of use on these right like it's super it's honestly super super dope i got none else honestly you do have some stars here for sure which are your top ones um and i can appreciate you putting that at the top so yeah dude, i just had to say it you know just had to say it so with that that is the end of this little portfolio i you know, honestly i have no expectations for these videos in the sense of like I like to just look at really cool work. Hopefully it inspires you. Some of these really did inspire me. And also at the same time, give you just a little bit more context on how to even make it better and or what is successful and or maybe something you could have thought of the way you kind of address and word your campaign and showcase and project and all that good stuff. But honestly, shout out all the portfolios in this, of course, video. They'll be in the description down below, per usual. Um, Yeah, like I love, I love you guys. This, this will be the last time you guys see this. And maybe I start vlogging. I mean, could you imagine like a design vlog? You guys want that? Like a like a day in the life of like me sitting at my desk for eight hours a day? Probably not. Anyways, until then, Seso HQ out. You never get to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking brother guys. And much love, peace, and enjoy your day.